Hello, welcome back to Unknown and Talented. My name is Jalon Abrams, and today we're going to talk about burnout, how to avoid burnout, especially as a creator. So most of most of the time when you're a creator, you're still working your nine to five, you still have your regular life, and your five to nine is being a creator or being an entrepreneur or doing something else. Not many people are able to just be entrepreneurs or just creators and have nothing else going on. So you're already burned out from, you know, work nine to five, and now you get home and now it's time to do your five to nine. And if you're a creator like me, especially in the social media world where people's, people's attention spans are very short. So what they tell you to do, you got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. Post every single day, post multiple times a day. And that sounds cool. But that can take a lot out of you, especially for me trying to build up my Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube, and also trying to start a business on the side. I have a lot going on and it's very hard to stay focused or to, to not burn out because I have so many different hats. Like I'm already getting burned out at work and then I'm also trying to use whatever energy left I have to be that creator. And I just wanted to show y'all how to avoid that. Even though you have your nine to five, you have your thing that's bringing you income, but how to be able to also do that second thing on the side without getting burned out. So how do you know you burned out? The first way is say, oh, you lack motivation. Pretty much you've been creating content and now you hit a, a wall where you don't feel like doing it anymore. Sometimes people will say they have a writer's block. So writer's block means you've been creating, you've been creating, and now you hit a stage where you can't think of anything else to create. You want to create, but you can't think of anything. You have nothing that motivates you to actually create something cool. So at that point, you might be burned out. Another way to tell if you're burned out, if anything physically is changing, let's say you start breaking out, you have a tough time sleeping, you end up, you know, getting a little chubby. Now that happened to me. I was, you know, I work out so much pretty much every single day and I didn't have motivation to want to work out and now I could see myself you know losing it you know slowly becoming fat so not really fat because I'm skinny but you can see yourself changing you can see yourself not being able to sleep or like your face is breaking out and it's like yo what's going on it's because you might be you know burned out you might be a little stressed um, you might be stressed at what you're doing because what you're doing is not working. So that's another example of being burned out. So another way to tell that you are burned out is you're not staying on top of your self-care. So you might not be getting your hair done. You might be taking an extra week to get a haircut, extra two weeks to get your hair styled. Um, you're not eating, you're skipping meals. Oh, I'm not hungry right now. I'm just going to try to focus up. Um, what else? If you'd like to get your nails done, your pedicure, your massages, things that you're used to doing to take care of yourself, you're just not doing. Something that I, I usually do is I exercise. That's my self-care. That's my way to kind of escape the content creating or anything else. I might just be running on a treadmill, lifting weights, because your mind is off of your regular life. I'm not thinking about work. I'm not thinking about content creation at that time. I'm just working out. I'm just thinking about how much I can push my body. And when I was burned out, I was slowing down on that. I was like, man, I don't feel like working out today because I want to try to, you know, push it. You want to try to make sure you're creating content every single day. So you kind of put stuff on the back burner, but then, you know, the material that you come out with as a content creator might not be great anymore. So you're trying to skip all these other things of taking care of yourself to try to take care of your content. And that's not a healthy way to go about it because you need to make sure you're healthy and you're in the best shape uh, mentally and physically and mentally so that you can create the best content because your content can wait. You don't have to be super consistent every single day. You have to make sure that you're consistent in your self-care over consistent in this content. So hearing all those signs, you realize that, yo, I'm burned out. <laughs> I might be burned out. So what do you do next? I would say think of yourself as a cell phone. Your phone, you've been using it all day, all day long. Now it's at 0%. You got to recharge it. You got to route your charger, plug it back in the charger to get back to 100%. So a way to do that for yourself is just take a little break. Take a little break from creating content. Take a little break from even work. Take a couple PTO days off of work. Take a break of, off the anything because now you have no energy left and you have to recharge. So take a break. Step back from whatever you're doing. It's going to be okay. You can take a break from work. You can take a break from content creating. Take a break from anything. I took a break with this podcast. I took two weeks off. 
I was a year straight posting every single week and I decided I need a break. I need to step back. I need to recharge so I could come back and create a better episode. And it worked for me. I'm, I'm back. I'm recording and I'm good. So you got to think about your life. What things can you do to step back and take a little break and just enjoy life? So the second thing you can do is you can restart. So everybody knows when they call the companies about the internet modem or the computer or the cable box, what do they say? Have you tried plugging it out and plugging it back in? Press that restart button for me. <laughs> they, they always say that because it now needs to re reboot because something is, is wrong in the system and you just need a little quick plug out and plug back in. Pretty much when I think about that, I think about being a content creator and you're on social media every single day. You're just consuming all this information. You might need to just take a step back. Take a step back from your social media. You know that you're you're addicted on it. It's hard for you to, to think because every time you're seeing all these videos and you're pretty much just copying what you see, you might need to take a step back. I, I think about when I was a music producer, when I was making beats, I was mainly making hip hop beats, making R&B beats. And whenever I got stuck, I decided to listen to music that was totally different, a whole different genre, country. I might listen to rock. Because all the music I was listening to, I wasn't getting inspired by that. So I said, you know what? I had to do, you know, I had to do the restart in my system of changing, changing the mindset of just listening to hip hop, just listening to R and B, and re restart and listen to something totally different. So now, when I come back to the hip hop and R and B, I'm hearing things differently because I have that influence of listening to that other type of music. And now, you know, I'm back in and better. Another thing I could think about is. Being on social media all day, you might have to say, you know what, I'm going to put a pause on this social media because my mind needs to time to rest from everything, not even just a break from work. So now I just need a break from the social media and just restart. Pretty much start from zero. You know, you have a goal for me every week to post this podcast and I was on a, a year streak, but I need to just, just start over, which is, which is totally fine. You got to realize that it's okay to start back from zero. Because social media, they want you to post every single day. It's okay just to take a step back. I'm not going to do it right now. And then once I come back, I'm fresh. Now now I'm, I'm good to go. And sometimes what we're going to have to do is just do a reset. You know, you have your phone. You try to plug it in and charge. It's not working. But what you do, you turn it off, turn it back on. It's not working. You might just have to go back to the Apple store and say, hey, my phone is completely broken. And can y'all can you help me? And that's what you have to do in yourself. You might just have to reset everything you're doing. You started off the new year strong. You had a goal. You, you push in. You're doing stuff every single day. And then you, you, you hit, hit a section where you're like, yo, this is not working. And you have to change, change the way you're going about doing it. When I started the new year, I was going to the gym every day, creating content every day. I think I did like two months in a row of posting fitness content every single day. Um, you know, the numbers, you know, you see the numbers going up. I was posting YouTube shorts, I think like three, probably even like close to three to five times a day. And then like, you know, it's slowly moving up, slowly moving up. And after a while I got burned out and I'm like, man, this is, this is tough. I'm not going to be able to sustain this over, over a long period of time. And, um, I think that's why I'm not a big fan of challenges. Um, because when you think about challenges, they're saying, oh, do this for 75 days. This that's that was one of the most popular challenges they challenges that they have, the 75 day hard challenge, where you pretty much have to work out twice in a day, and I think you gotta read a book or so something like that. But you do it for 75 days. So the thing about challenges, they're definitely fun. It's definitely gonna be challenging, it's gonna definitely push you outside your comfort zone, but it's gonna be hard to maintain. And that's pretty much what I was doing. I was doing a YouTube of posting, you know, creating it one day posting it within 30 minutes, creating it, posting it, creating it, posting it, and just, just, just moving like a hamster on a wheel, just continuously going. And that's cool, but it's going to be hard to sustain something. So whenever I think of like a reset, you just want to change everything, you're going to have to start from zero. So what, I, what I'm doing is creating a schedule, creating a schedule of when I'm going to think about my idea, create a schedule when I'm actually going to um, uh, film the idea, when I'm going to um, edit the idea, and when I'm going to post the idea. So now I have more of a schedule so I can stay consistent because I can't keep going, you know, going like that. Cause yeah, I could probably go for two months and, you know, push it out, 
But when you think about um, sustaining something, it's, it's something that you're doing every single day or every single week, every single month. You know, when football season comes around, every Sunday is going to be a game on Sunday. Every Sunday is going to be a game. And the reason why it's like that and the reason why people love football so much because they know it's something to look forward to on Sundays. And if, if the, that, they didn't have their schedules right, they didn't have, you know, the TV schedules right, they didn't have all that stuff together, they wouldn't be this popular. It wouldn't be popular. So that's the same thing you have to do in your life. Anything that you're thinking about doing, you want to make sure you get your schedule and something that you can do all the time because now, you know, you, you, you end up having something co so consistent. Now people are following you because you're consistent. They're like, oh, I see why. But you want to actually work on the schedule first because it's going to be hard to be consistent by just by just winging it. It's, it's winging it is not going to be consistent. You want to be consistently doing it, consistently planning and doing it at a high level. So a key to that reset is going to be first find a self-care routine. That's first. Your first thing is to make sure you get yourself together because without having yourself together, you wouldn't be able to create, be at a, um, a high level creating because you don't have that together. And that's gonna, what we're going to be using to avoid that burnout because you're going to be, you're going to be burned out. This is going to be something that you want to be doing. You want to be super consistent. We post it every single day. You have to really use something that's going to be able to help keep your mind and body fresh for this push that, that, that you want to accomplish. So what is self-care to you? Is it going to be getting your hair done? Going to be trimming your beard, um, getting new clothes, nails, massage. I can't even really think of that many things, but Think of something that's self-care for you. It might just be going to a basketball game, might be going to a football game, might be going out on Friday nights. So something that, that's going to be able to, to help you keep your mind and body great because being a content creator, it takes a lot out of you and you got to find a way to recharge or reset or any, anything you can do that's going to keep you fresh. So when you, are, have, when you do have that schedule, that push, you're able to be able to release and, and relax at some point in time. So I know this might sound cliche, but you want to also look into meditating or journaling, especially as a creator. So I was reading this book called The Artist's Way, and one of the parts in there, I think it was like one of the main, the first pages, they were talking about morning pages. So pretty much what morning pages are, the minute you wake up, you have a notebook and you're writing down three pages of just whatever you're thinking. So whatever comes to your mind, like for example, for me, I'm thinking, oh man, there's a bush right here. Oh, it's a light right here. I'm recording a podcast. Well, well whatever you're thinking at that moment, you're just writing down, getting all your thoughts out, all your thoughts out, one page, two page, three page, close it. Don't worry about anybody reading or anything, but you're just getting all your thoughts out. So now when you start your day, you have a blank slate. Your mind is not thinking about any distractions. You're not thinking about any bills. You're not thinking about nothing. You're thinking about just getting up and now starting creating because you're starting with a fresh plate. So that's just a, a really good way to get your mental right. Because I've definitely done it. I don't do it anymore because it was taking a lot of time. Three pages is a lot. And your hand starts to hurt after a while. But I do start off every day by writing in my journal, by writing one page. And pretty much similar to what he was thinking, whatever I have in my mind, I'm writing down or whatever things I might think of, I'm just writing down just so I can get my mind kind of free to start my day because you don't want to start your day off with any stresses you had from the day before. You want to start off fresh. So I think the morning pages will definitely benefit you or meditating if that works better for you. Meditating has always been a challenge. So that's why I pretty much just stay to just my morning pages or my journaling to make sure I get my mind right. But whatever works for you, if you want to do journaling, meditating. Like find the thing that's going to be perfect for you, for your self-care, so you can be able to do this push and not be burned out. So once you create that self-care routine, the next thing you want to do is set boundaries. So we're not just talking about setting boundaries for other people in our life. We got to set boundaries for our personal life compared to creating content because I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of the minute I get off of work, I'm creating content. Waking up in the morning early to create content. Every single day, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm creating content. I'm thinking of content ideas. I'm writing content in my notes. And you try to push off things because you're like, yo, I want to make sure I create this content. But you want to make sure you have a work-life balance. So it's kind of hard because this is, you know, we're still doing our job and we're coming home and creating that content. But you want to make sure that the only thing you're doing is not doing that. Because as a creative, you have to be inspired. 
And the way to be inspired is by actually enjoying your life, living your life, getting outside of your room and doing something. So you don't want to get stuck in, oh man, like Kanye used to say, I made five beats for five summers. Yeah, that's, you know, that, that was a great line, but it's very unrealistic because there's no way you're going to be able to continuously stay inspired by being stuck in a box, especially for five summers. Come on, man, that's crazy. But you want to, you want to definitely get out the house, do something fun, like I said before, your self-care, but make sure you just set those boundaries that you say, I'm going to say this day is my day to hang out. This is my day not to do anything content wise, because that's the way you're going to stay inspired and not be burned out. And once you set boundaries with yourself, now it's time to set boundaries with other people, which is definitely for me hard because I'm definitely a people pleaser. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, can you do this for me? Oh, can you do that for me? I am. And really learning not to be a people pleaser is tough. Like even just now, I got a phone call before recording a podcast and I didn't answer it because I said, if I get in that phone call, that might be a 30 minute conversation and I need to get this podcast done. I could call them after. So that's setting that boundary of, I know that I want to be creative. I'm in this creative sp space. I want to put that creativity over anything else because they're going to be fine. They're not going to be upset. Oh man, you avoided my calls or you, man, you don't want to hang out no more. I want to do all that stuff, but my day to hang out might be that Sunday. My day to hang out might be that Saturday or whatever it is. But you want to make sure that you are setting boundaries and letting people know that this is just as important as that nine to five. My five to nine, my five to nine is extremely important. It's more important than a nine to five. I'm not even making money off of this thing, but I know the money potential in it. And you need to, you know, respect that. So you got to respect yourself and know that if people want to con contact you and do anything when you have your schedule, you got to say, no, this is what I'm doing to be able to escape that nine to five, my five to nine. So in conclusion, burnout happens to everybody. Everybody's going to have one period of time where they're burned out, but they find a way to reset. You think about NBA, uh, football, you think about soccer, swimming, all these sports have an off season. So they go hard for that little period of time and then they have an off season to reset, to, to get, get back into regular life so they're not burned out. They're not doing it year long. When you think about pastors, they have this thing called sabbatical. And that's when they take a break from preaching and to go out in the world because they're not doing it every single, you know, they're doing it every single Sunday. So now they need a break. And that's the time for them to break to recharge so they're not burned out and they're able to give you a good message. You think about being in school as a child. Yeah, we need a summer break because, you know, you're going to get stressed out of doing this every single day, you know? So it's, so it's time to take a break. You think of your nine to five, you really don't get that. You really don't get that. And then you take that non-break habit into creating content and now you're burned out because you're working every single day. Now you're creating content every single day. You have no time to relax. You have no time to breathe, no time to do anything. So make sure you are taking those PTO days, you're taking those vacation days, and you're also scheduling your time with your content creation that you're not burned out because we don't want to avoid burnout. We want to make sure we stay as consistent as possible. And the way to stay consistent as possible is to be burned out as least amount of time as we can by taking the breaks when we can control it, not taking the breaks when we have to because we're burned out. So I'm gonna leave you out with this story. If you heard it before, cool. If not, it's a pretty cool story. My dad, my dad told me, tells me all the time the story. This is very cool. Um, but it's a it's a wood cut cutting contest. There's two men, their goal is to cut as many trees as they can from sun up to sundown. And, you know, they start, they cutting, they cutting, they cutting, they cutting. One of the guys decides to take a break. He sees stops and the other guy sees him doing that. He's like, yo, he's chilling. I'm about to go harder. Boom. Boom. I'm cutting these trees down because he's, he's, he's lazy. He's taking a break. By the end of the, the contest, who do y'all think, who do y'all think cut most of the trees down? So if you said the guy that took the break, yes. So the guy that took the break, yes, he did cut more trees than the guy that was just going crazy. And the guy was confused. He was like, how'd you cut more trees down than me? And you lazy, you know, you taking breaks and I'm going hard and you, how are you doing that? And he told them that basically when he was taking his breaks, he was sharpening his blade. Every time he's taking a break, he's sharpening his blade. And that's the same thing that, that you got to do. Don't be so busy to cut down so many trees 
to blow up on social media, that you're not sharpening your ax. You're not taking a break to, to sharpen up your mind, sharpen up your body to make sure you're, you're fresh for the, the, the next, next push. Is very important. It's very important, okay? Um, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the podcast. Um, I definitely took my break, and I'm I'm here now. I'm going to be here every single week, so y'all better get used to it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast. Again, my name is Jalon Abrams, and if you haven't, make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a review on the Amazon. Make sure you leave a comment. I said Amazon. It's not even Amazon. Is it Amazon? No, it's Apple Podcasts. My gosh. Make sure you like the like the uh, YouTube video. You you leave a review on the Apple Podcast, Spotify Podcast. Leave a comment on the YouTube. Subscribe. Um, I don't even know where else I am. If you listen to me anywhere else, you like, share, tell your friends about it. Make sure this is this is something that helps helps everybody. Everybody gets burned out. All right, so share it. Put on your Instagram. Put on your TikTok. Put on your whatever you got. Your Twitter. Your X. Whatever it's called. Just make sure you share it. All right. Um, did I already say my name already? Yeah. So my name is again, Jalon Abrams, Unknown Talented. We'll see you next week.